In this video, we're going to derive a person's labor supply equation from their utility function. Here's a person's utility function. We're going to let the wage equal W, L equals hours of leisure, H is hours of work. There are 24 hours a day that can be allocated between leisure and hours of work. And we could solve this for L, so hours of leisure equals 24 minus hours of work. V represents non-labor income. C is consumption spending. So the consumer's consumption spending will equal their labor market income, the wage times hours of work, plus their non-labor income, V. We need the marginal utility of leisure, taking the partial derivative of the utility function with respect to L. We get 2CL. To get the marginal utility of consumption, we take another partial derivative, and in this case we get L squared. To maximize utility, this condition must hold. The marginal utility of leisure divided by the wage equals the marginal utility of consumption. Substituting in what we know here, so the marginal utility of leisure is 2CL divided by W and the marginal utility of consumption is just L squared. Simplifying this, uh, dividing through by L, gives us this result. Solving for C, we'll get C equals WL divided by 2. The next step is I'll set C equal to C. We basically have two C equations, one over here and one over here. So setting them equal. I'm going to make a, just writing this up here though, uh, I'm going to substitute out L. What is L? 24 minus H. So for L I have 24 minus H on the left hand side. Uh, I'm going to multiply through by 2. So we have this 2 now appearing on the right hand side. And then W times 24 and W times minus H. I'm going to solve for H. So adding plus or adding a plus WH to both sides, we get 3WH. And moving this TV over here. And now dividing by 3W. 24W divided by 3W is 8. And 2V divided by 3W gives us this. And that is our labor supply equation. So hours of work equals the following. It's a function of non-labor income and the wage. And one thing to note here, if V were to increase, hours of work would fall. And if W would increase in this equation, hours of work would increase. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.